Good morning, friends. It's good to be able to join each and every one of us for a time of devotions. And uh, this morning, we want to continue on in our theme of uh, the Holy Spirit, as it's the month leading up to Pentecost. And uh, we're going to cover a very important subject, which is how do we hear the voice of God? You know, sometimes we think hearing the voice of God is only for those who are spiritual or those who are serving. For example, pastors need to hear the voice of God. Prophets, you know, those who are in ministry need to hear the voice of God. But you know, the voice of God is, is something that God desires for every one of us to hear. He desires. We are created for relationship with God. And God has a voice and He wants to speak. In fact, He is speaking to us all the time. Now, this might sound very strange for those of us who are not familiar with what we call spiritual senses or some of us who might be thinking to ourselves, well, we hear the voice of God every week when we go to church or when we hear a message. But it's more than that, friends, believe me. The Holy Spirit desires to speak to us. He has a voice. The Spirit of God is the voice of God. You know, He has a voice. The Holy Spirit has a voice and He desires that all of us, you know, whether we are children, in fact, children tend to be more sensitive to the voice of God and they can hear God's voice sometimes so much more clearer than even the adults. It is because of their spirit man that is so innocent, so pure and so willing to hear God's voice. I've heard many times God speak to me through my children over the years. Now, the Bible says in First. And we come to that scripture, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 19, where it says, We also have the prophetic message as something completely reliable, and you will do well to pay attention to it as to a light shining in a dark place. Have you been in a dark place before? Not just talking about physically dark, but emotionally in our soul, dark, the dark night of the soul. And the Word of God is like a light when we are in a place of darkness, it says. Until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. And verse 20, above all you must understand, it says here that we must understand, friends, that no prophecy of Scripture came about by the prophet's own interpretation of things. For prophecy never had its origin in human will, but through prophets, though human, spoke from God as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. You know that every word that is found in the Word of God is inspired by the Holy Spirit. The Word of God is the voice of God. You know, that's what the topic of our study is this morning. God wants to speak to us and one of the best ways that we can hear God's voice is through His Word. Now some of us might be asking, what is the connection between the Word of God and the Spirit of God and the voice of God? What's the connection? Now if you want to learn about someone, if you want to research about someone, what would be the first thing that you do? You would want to go and grab a hold of their videos on YouTube, grab a hold of their messages, their sermons, or if they have written a book, that would be a great resource for us to go in, dig in, and, and read. In fact, a book would be the best place because that's where they would really express who they really are. Their personality will come forth. Their nature will come forth through their writings. And so it is with the Word of God. As we go into the Word of God, we discover not just 
God speaking to us, but we discover the heart of God, the nature of God, the passion of God. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, to delight ourselves in the Lord and He will grant us the desires of our heart. To delight in Him is to delight in His Word, church. And as we delight in His Word, He grants us, He speaks to us the desires of His heart. Now, the Bible is the best place, friends. The Word is alive, Scripture says. Let me just get that Scripture in Hebrews chapter 4. If you have your Bibles with you, it says here, For the Word of God is living and active. Wow! It's living and active. Every time we read the Word, it is living. It's not like dead ink on a, on a page, on paper, but it's alive. It's active. It's sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing into the division of the soul and spirit, joints and marrows, discerning the soul, discerning the thoughts and the intentions of our hearts. It's powerful. It's alive. It's sharper than any double-edged sword. It's able to divide between the soul and the spirit what is really our voice and what is God's voice. The Word of God is able to slice right through between the soul and the spirit and show us. Because sometimes we don't know when is it my voice and when is it God's voice. The best way to know is to go back to the Word of God. You know, the Word of God God desires to speak to us all the time. As much as we would like to hear, that much He would like to speak. So how do we know which part of the Word of God speaks to us? Now I would suggest very simple principles here, which is found in the Bible. Psalm 100 says, Enter into His gates with thanksgiving and into His courts with praise. As we open up the Word of God, let's start with thanksgiving, thanking Him for all that He has done and praising Him for who He is. You know what we are really doing there is we are tuning ourselves to the Spirit of God, to hear God's voice. Praise changes our focus from our own struggles our own battles, our own circumstances, be it financial, health, family, work, business. Praise turns the focus from all the things that surround us into the eyes of God. You know, I, I love just taking time sometimes just to praise God. I, in fact, I try to do it every day, tuning in, sensitizing my spirit man to the voice of God. And as we do that, we continue to tune in through prayer. The Bible says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything with prayer and thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God that surpasses all understanding shall guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Make your requests known to God. Pour out our hearts to God. You know, we start with thanksgiving, praise, pouring out our heart to God. And then you will just quieten for a few moments and you'll and you'll just begin to just ask the Lord, what are you speaking to me? And the, the Lord will remind us of a scripture, of a portion of the Bible. So if you're doing a, a daily planned reading of the Bible, that's fantastic. Keep doing it. But as we open the word, and we ask God to speak to us, He will speak to us. And especially if there are circumstances in your life that is pertaining to health, you know, just look for all the scriptures that the voice of God is speaking to you pertaining health. One beautiful scripture is Isaiah 53, where it says, He was wounded for our transgressions by His stripes, we are healed. You know, that's the voice of the Holy Spirit towards us. And then if you find that financially, 
you're in a bind or you find that there is a lack in some area in your life, my God shall supply all my needs according to His riches in glory in Christ Jesus. If you're not sure what God's plans are for your life, for the plans that He has for me are good plans. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. You know, those things, those words are not merely written ink on paper, but they are the voice of God. The Spirit of God is the voice of God. The voice of God is spoken through the Word of God. The Word of God speaks to each of one, each one of us according to the areas of needs in our lives. So we want to pray and ask God to speak to us today. Lord, make us sensitive to your voice. Help us to hear what you are saying through your word. And we want to open ourselves to hearing your voice through songs of worship and praise, through nature, through sermons, through our friends who are of the faith. And help us to know, Lord, help us to discern when it is your voice not just hear your voice but to respond to your voice and to allow your voice to work in our hearts and then Lord help us to declare your voice to the people who are in need around us we yield ourselves to you to be a vessel of your voice we thank you in Jesus name we pray Amen. God bless you friends and we will see you on Sunday. Amen.